It's still bad. It's still bad. Oh, I have all green bars again. <laughs> it's over. Is work stuff. Oh, are we back? It went disconnected and reconnected immediately. I don't know what that's about. Um, let me type it in the chat just in case you all can't hear me. Back to music. Going to see what Sean's up to. If it's work stuff. Can't help that, but this is a lot. Hey, it's me. Now that the stream is working again, let's test something. Both cats are asleep on the bed. Sounded like one of them jumped down. Let's see if anybody comes running for Holly's treat redeem. Are you guys ready for this? I want to make sure you're all here before I shake it. You guys ready? I guess I should put it back on me so you can see the door. All right, watch this. I heard it. Hi! Hi! Hi, buddy. Get up here. Get up here. Your Auntie Holly said, please give the kitty cat some treats. Here, over here. Oh, I forgot to switch it. Let me do that again. Of course it's very right? Who's this pretty boy? Who's this pretty boy? Who's this pretty? Who's the pretty boy? Ow! <laughs> Bit me. <laughs> Who's this pretty boy? He's so cute. But as you notice, no one else bothered to get up and come down here. No one else bothered. He's cute. Okay, back to the music. Well, I was about to type what I just was doing, but I'll just tell you. So the window you see in the cat's view is like right there. Like the camera for it is like right there pointing that way. Okay. The window, the light is coming through 
it's hitting my desk and it's just like beaming me in the face. And I'm going blind. So I just took the old curtains I had up, the ones with the cherries on them, if you remember seeing those. And I just taped it dangling down the back of my monitor. Looks ridiculous. I'm not sure what to do because I can't really block that window without the cats doing something. Yeah, so... It looks hilarious, but I'm not blinded anymore, so that's good. How are you all? Well, I never got to power wash simulator today. But there are donuts to be made. Time to make the donuts. That's a Dunkin' Donuts ad? From the 80s? USA 80s? Hey, I found it. Where does this go? No idea. Hey everyone, have a drink. I need a drink. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. <gasps> Marky would like a fact. Holly, do you have a little list of facts somewhere sitting around waiting? Not there, not there, not there. Not there. Not there. The Ugly Duckling, The Little Mermaid, and Thumbelina are stories we all know and love. All these and more wonderful fairy tales came from Hans Christian Andersen, the famous Danish author who actually shares his birthday with another beloved person, me, April 2nd. Nice. I think I knew that. I think I read The Little Mermaid. Is it one of those? There was there was a period of time where I was reading this series of books that the library had that was like fairy tales from other countries or something. And it was like the not Disneyfied versions. Was Little Mermaid horrifying also? The way some of the other ones are? I can't remember. Like, did she have to cut her fins off instead of <laughs> instead of just like them evaporating? <laughs> of course, you have a list of facts. Holly is a girl of a hundred lists. Well, I'm glad the stream stopped freaking out. I don't know what that was about. The recent one's good. She became seafoam. Yikes. I like the recent one. Hey. Okay. That looks like a little blurp. Let me get the picture I have of the thing here. Um, that looks like it's next to the yellow one, which is in this area. Hey, there it is. Okay. What does this look like? With a book of facts. Hi, DJ. DJ and Marky's um, names are almost the same color when I'm looking at this uh, stream manager screen. Um, I hope I don't mix them up. Hey. 
How's it going? DJ, you missed the terrible stream quality session we had. You're lucky to have missed. This looks like... This looks like right above the yellow one, like in this area. Hey, got it. So is this part of this yellow one? Yes, awesome. So red with this chocolate right next to it. I think this is part of the M&Ms. Unless it's a sprinkle. Well, now I'm not sure. This could be a sprinkle. It is, it's a sprinkle. Shark fin soup. Are you serious? Ponyo? Ponyo's good. I don't have donuts, but I have a cookie. Hopefully, I will not only have donuts, but new internet on Friday. That depends on your definition of funny. Ponyo is cute, though. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's zoom in again. These are probably part of the gummies. Not there. Hey. I think I told you guys that before we went to Japan, we made a point to watch some more Studio Ghibli stuff. Um, and uh, I liked Kiki's Delivery Service. That one was really cute. I liked that she was a little witch girl and she had a kitty cat. And um, I liked my neighbor Totoro, Spirited Away. Those were all good. Like them. I haven't seen Princess Mononoke since it was in theaters. And I liked it at the time. That's all I've got. <laughs> That's all I had to say about it. Oh, yeah. Kiki's is good. Yes. Well, we went to that, the Ghibli Museum. And that was really cool. And I wanted to have more reference than what I had. So we made a point to watch some. Don't know where that goes. Let's just start piling some up right here. That's attached. This is not.
haven't seen Grave of the Fireflies. Thinking about going to the cinema next Tuesday. Cool. Not while we're on a break. We'll go back into it um, in another four minutes. And if there are any Wear Down songs you want to hear, you can request them with the channel point redeem. Either put like song name artist or vice versa and, or like a Spotify link. And it should be able to find it. What are you going to see? I have once ever cried. Ever again, I cried a lot at Grave of the Fireflies. What's that one about? When we were at the museum, they apparently show like um, unreleased movies of his shorts and they're ones that um, never came out and you can only see them there. It was really good. We watched one. I think it was about a bagworm. And it was really cute. It didn't even have like any dialogue. They have one that's supposed to be about the cat bus kittens. And we were hoping we were going to get to see that one, but they didn't show it. Zone of interest. What is that? Zone. Let's find out. Of interest movie I apparently didn't spell it correctly but I found it anyway this looks like some historical <laughs> stuff don't play why are you playing oh is it German as hell looks like it I mean that in a good way. Auschwitz Commandant Rudolf Huss, Huss and his wife Hed Hedwig strive to build a dream life for their family in a house and garden beside the camp. I know you're not telling me everything. There's more to it than that. Nice request. Grave of Fireflies is based on the short story of the same name by novelist Ikayuki Nosaka, who lived through the bombing of Kobe while he was a child. Well, that sounds sad. I imagine you would cry. I was checking to see if there were any movies that were in the theater that Sean and I could go see because we were going well, at least at the beginning of the summer, we and during the summer, we were going, um, oh, I guess even in the fall and stuff, we were going, point is, we were going <laughs> to the theater a, a lot on Tuesdays because it's a discount day and it was fun. But um, we haven't gone since we got back from Japan. And so I looked and like Dune I'm interested in, but not for like two, almost three hours. No, thank you. I will wait until I can watch it over several days at dinner time on streaming. Apparently Steven Spielberg said about it, the best movie about the Holocaust since Schindler's List. Have there been others? I wouldn't even know. Yes. Weird was good. Did you watch it? It was pretty funny. I love the whole thing about him being involved with Madonna and that all the songs were parodies of him. That was hilarious. Have you seen UHF? I love UHF. I guess it's break time. Well, we might as well break into the raid. All right. What we got here? We've got donuts. Still, we are still donutting it up. This is probably an M&M. It is. Yay. What about this one? 
Hi, how are you? I wish you weren't worried about aging. It's just a number. Age is just a number. And actually, things didn't really get that, like, things weren't annoying until, like, this might be icing. I'm not even sure 45 was annoying. I think it wasn't until I was, like, 50. I think you're fine. Yeah, but once you hit 50, bleh, <laughs> I'm there. It's annoying. Be so here's one thing that I can recommend. While you're young, do everything you can to get strong. Because the, the things that have really been annoying are because I wasn't strong. Like when I was running and um, I injured my IT bands. That was the first thing that bothered me. So it made like made things ache in weird ways, which really didn't have anything to do with my age. And then um, I hurt my back because my core is not strong and really has never been. I hurt my back, which caused sciatica, which you can get at any age also. And then I sprained my foot. <laughs> so do what you can to be strong, regardless of what age you are. And I think you won't have any issues. I say that as someone who has not been able to do that, <laughs> who has meant to work out a million times and never does, or doesn't work out enough. You know what I mean? Oh, being people. No, oh, hang on. I got a reply from one of the emails. I got to look at it. Hmm. Okay, let me reply to them. I really hate that. One of the things that I have to deal with, like there is a, a the, the county users have a, something called a batch report. And what happens, like let's say they register a bunch of voters. And so it would generate voter acknowledgement cards to get mailed out to all those people. And so it would generate it as a batch. And they have this, hopper that they can go and they can print it from there and batch, you know, print them all. So they, there are some reports that I can't see 
even though I'm a support user, like they, they're invisible to me. So somebody will say something like, there's this report, blah, blah, blah. It's not working. And I'm like, I don't even see the report. And I've complained to the developers that we should at least be able to see everything, but no. You're both 27? I really liked 27. I had a good time when I was 27. Oh, wow, you're another April. We got all the Aprils in here. Nice. Aw, Priest's a baby. <laughs> I just like calling everybody babies because I am such an adult. I'm, I'm not. I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the granny, unfortunately. Uh, this looks like it has a red gummy. What'd you say, Varric? Varric said, Wah. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> he left town. He said, Wah. and left. Okay. Ah, you're not the Machne. Yeah. Eric says, peace out. Peace out, bitches. And then he left town. There it goes. Someday we will finish this puzzle. Nope. Never, never going to finish it. Never, ever going to finish. So all of you who have tolerated the Weird Al and were not happy about it, thank you. I appreciate you still coming in, even if it's not your taste. I had a poll yesterday. No one said they missed the poll. Only three people voted and then it won. What can I do? So tomorrow we're going to do 80s, 90s, wait, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And we'll see how that goes. And I'll find out how many other songs I don't care for. <laughs> I'm kidding. It'll be an 80s song and I'll rock out and then something else will come on and I'll go. No, I'm joking. I may like more than I knew. <laughs> You're the only one who voted. See, if if Miss M had voted, it would have been a um it would have been a tie, and then we would have had to figure it out. Okay. Dismiss that. Close this, close that, put the message in the chat. Good night. We, oh, it says four. Good night to work and close, close. Why aren't you closing? <laughs> Teams crashed as I was trying to close it. Shut down. Okay. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. We're going to raid out. We're going to go see what Gillian is playing a kaiju dating sim. 
Let's go see what that's about. We haven't read it to her in a bit. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Oh, wait, let me put in a message. I forgot. I put that on a button. Most important reason for marriage, publicity, friendship, or security. Okay, so we'll read out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the stream won't be a pain in the butt. And um, and then Friday, possibly no stream or surprise stream, depending on what goes on with uh, our new internet coming in. So let's go say hi to Gillian. Please stick around for the raid and then do what you like. I know you got things to do, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.